Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about the types of solutions. This will be the first quarter topic and learning competency number 11. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. the objectives by the end of the lesson 80 percent of the learners will be able to first is to identify the common household and school solutions as acid bases or salt based on their reaction with litmus paper the second one is to demonstrate the ability to properly use litmus paper to test the pH of various solutions. And the last one is to appreciate for the prevalence of acid, bases, and salts in their everyday environment. In activating prior knowledge, so the learners will be asked to read the listed words based on the previous lesson and will supply the needed information. In establishing purpose of the lesson, for the lesson purpose, so we are going to explain to the learners that the lesson is all about the acids, bases, and salts, and perform simple activity using solution that can be found at home and in school. In unlocking content vocabulary, so we are going to use the match type Developing and deepening of understanding, so we are going to explain the solutions to investigate. So these are the list of household and school solutions that students will test, such as the vinegar, baking soda, table salt, lemon juice, and soap. In testing with litmus paper, for the step 1, all you have to do is to gather all the materials, such as the litmus paper, various household and school solutions, and small containers or cups to hold the solutions. In step number 2, all you have to do is to dip the litmus paper. So carefully dip a strip of red litmus paper into the first solution and observe the color change of the litmus paper. And then repeat the process with a strip of blue litmus paper. For step 3, all you have to do is to observe the color change. So if the red litmus paper turns blue, the solution is basic or alkaline. So if the blue litmus paper turns into red, the solution is acidic. If there is no color change, the solution is neutral. For step number 4, all you have to do is to record the observation. So note the color change of the litmus paper for each solution tested. And this will help you to identify the solutions as acids, bases, or salts. The following are the importance of proper technique. So to ensure the litmus paper is fully submerged in the solution for accurate results. And then avoid contaminating the solutions by using a clean litmus paper strip for each test. And carefully observe the color changes to correctly identify the nature of the solution.